Hello everyone, how are you? Your favorite photographer Akshay here and welcome to the basic photography series. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you must have noticed that I'm shooting at a new place. That's because I've recently moved to a new house and you will see more of this setup in my coming videos. In this video, I'm going to help you understand what histogram is. Histogram is a powerful tool in your camera that allows you to analyze the exposure levels of your images. Understanding histogram can help you achieve accurate exposure and it also allows you to capture all the necessary details in your pictures. So what exactly is histogram? In simple terms, it's a graphical representation of the exposure levels in your images. It displays the distribution of brightness level in your image ranging from shadows to highlights on a scale of pure black to pure white. Typically, you can find the histogram in the display of the camera. And if you don't, please refer to your camera's menu to know how to activate it. Once you locate it, you will be able to view the histogram in real time as you compose your images or during the playback as well. While interpreting the histogram, the left side represents the shadows while the right side represents the highlights. The height of the bar in the histogram represents the quantity of pixels on each brightness level. By analyzing the shape of the histogram, you can determine if your picture is properly exposed, overexposed or underexposed. Ideally, you want to avoid the gaps on either sides of the histogram as this suggests the loss of details in shadows or highlights. Instead, aim for a well-distributed histogram that utilizes a good portion of tonal range. But keep that in mind, the ideal histogram shape can vary based on the scene or on your creative choices. While exposing your shot, you can make the exposure adjustment based on the histogram feedback. If you notice the histogram skewed towards the left side, indicating underexposure, you may need to increase the exposure by adjusting your shutter speed, aperture or ISO. I have talked about controlling the exposure using shutter speed, aperture and ISO in my exposure triangle video. If you haven't watched it yet, I will put the link in the description below, you can go and check it out. Conversely, if your histogram leans towards the right side, indicating overexposure, you can decrease the exposure to retain the details of the highlights. Remember, histogram is just an objective tool for you to evaluate the exposure accuracy. By incorporating histograms in your workflow, you can make informed decisions about the exposure level, ensuring to capture all the details in your images. And there you have it, a comprehensive overview of what histogram is. I also mentor people, if you want to learn photography personally from me, you can send me an email. I will mention the email address in the description below. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, the handle is right here. And you can also follow me on my personal Instagram, the handle is again here. As always, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to Ray Photography. I will see you guys in the next one. I have talked about controlling the exposure using...